Guys, welcome back to Money Monday. Jake Schofield here with you. It's actually Sunday. It's February 2nd. Absolutely mind-blowing. It is 70 degrees in Colorado, which is like freaking unheard of. We usually have just a mountain of snow and it's cold, but it's actually 70 degrees. I'm going to go out and shoot my bow here in just a second, which I'm really excited about. But guys, I get asked quite a bit. What is the shortcut? What is the hack? What is the secret to get into this? To get into the pipeline deal, to get into the iron work, to get into anything that is worth getting into. Guys, there is no freaking secret. There just isn't. There's no secret. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of uh, you going out of your way and getting very uncomfortable. Okay? I, I, I still remember going up to people and asking them for a job or going up to them and asking them to see if they had work or knew people that had work. And <clears throat> if we get laid off, I'm going to be doing the same thing I was doing when I started. Okay. Going up to people, asking if they have work, calling people, doing whatever it's going to take to get into what I want to do. <clears throat> One of the greatest things that I heard the other day is from Alan and he's actually the owner of South Coast Welding Academy. Very successful person, very uh, entrepreneur, super just a great, great dude. Now one of the things he got asked was, how do you be successful? And he came out and it hit me hard, it hit me super hard. And he says, don't ever let the sun catch you in bed. I have the most success when I'm up before the sun, I'm pushing, I'm driving, I'm freaking trying to get to where I want to be, is usually when I'm the most successful. When I'm the least successful is when I'm sleeping in bed. When I'm, you know, kind of being a little bit lazy. I don't want to build a video. I don't want to uh, go out and go weld. I don't want to go, you know, do whatever it is. Guys, that's when I'm the least successful. And the thing about it is, is it's discipline. It's your ability to every morning get up before the sun. It is your ability to go out and discipline yourself. Override whatever emotional feeling you're feeling for the day. And go and do what you need to do to become successful. If you want to come out and be a pipeline welder or a fabricator or a, you know, build the facilities that we're building, it's going to take you coming out, meeting the people you need to meet, um, practicing, even when it's cold and it's snowing or it's drizzling and you have to go set up an umbrella and you can't feel your freaking fingers, you think motivation is going to keep you out there freaking welding? Probably not. It's going to be discipline. It's going to be your ability to just stay out there and keep doing what you need to do. All right. That is what it's going to get you to where you need to be. There are no hacks. There are no shortcuts. There's nothing to it. All right. It's hard work. It's a lot of discipline. It's a lot of uncomfortable situations. My word. That is big. It's your ability to just say, man, that dude probably has my money in his pocket or knows somebody that has my money in his pocket. All right. There's something I read in a sales book. He says, when you get nervous and you get um, kind of too emotionally involved in something, he says, you need to find something that's going to drive you to go do it anyway. And one of the things that I have done personally myself is um, I had my wife, and this is before we had Balin. But it was like, okay, I'm either going to return all my stuff to the bank and the bank's going to be calling me and I'm going to look like an idiot and whatever else, but this dude over here might know where there's a job. And so mentally in my mind, I would say, this guy has my job. This guy has basically my money in his pocket. He knows where the work is. And so I could mentally and emotionally override my self-doubts, my... Um, worry of rejection, whatever it was, and I could go talk to this person and have a very civil conversation and either he knew where some work was or he didn't. That was it, okay? He wasn't rejecting you. He was just saying, you know, I don't know where anything is. So, guys, discipline, hard work, getting in uncomfortable situations. If you want to get involved in this, this is what it's going to take. So, anyways, you guys, Money Monday. Don't ever let the sun catch you in bed. That was... That was courtesy of Alan from South Coast Weldon Academy, and that was freaking amazing, all right? That thing hit me so hard. Never let the sun catch you in bed. Everybody be blessed. Get disciplined. Get to where you need to be if this is what you want to do. You better be out practicing. You better be out meeting the people you need to meet. You better be making phone calls. I get people that tell me all the time, I made 100 phone calls this week. 
Okay, did you have any luck? Well, there's two maybes. Okay, so make another 100 phone calls and maybe you'll get two more maybes. Now you have four maybes because you made, you know, 200 phone calls. Okay, I'm, uh, I don't know how to help you besides you got to do it yourself. Be blessed, everybody. Get disciplined. Get uncomfortable. Get to where you need to be. We'll talk to you later. See ya.